Hi, it's Adam here from iVirtual Mission. Uh, I'm just going to show you what an all-for-one style mission is uh, as a group mission type. So um, here we have an all-for-one mission, and um, we'll just jump straight into it. Uh, an all-for-one mission is when there is one marker on the map, uh, and everyone who's participating in the challenge is helping move that marker along the pathway. So you can see here, um, with this mission, the uh, this is the single marker. So anytime anyone posts a distance, this marker is moving um, from the start point over here um, to their uh, finish line, uh, which is back over here. Um, so that's the key difference um, between an each to complete and an all for one mission is that an all for one mission just there's just one team there's just one marker everyone's contributing to it um, and each to complete mission is where there are multiple markers on the map so like a race um, it could be individuals racing each other or there could be multiple teams um, and so that's an each to complete mission type um, what you might notice here as well is there's this other marker on the map and um, we call this the pace marker uh, and the pace marker is really at the position where um, according to their distance goal and their time frame goal is where they should be um, on their pathway so this group here is uh, ahead of their pace marker so they're beating uh, they're beating their goal which is which is great to see um, and uh, we can see that up here as their um, progress indicators both distance and time um, if we scroll below the map uh, we can see an area for a person to enter their distance um, into the challenge if they're manually submitting it. Um, they can post a comment. Uh, the mission admin gets this special ability to um, post a comment and then also send it to each person um, to their email address. Uh, then we come down to the um, to the uh, newsfeed area where all the information about what's happening in the mission is being recorded. So these are distances um, that a person uh, this person here, Claire, has um, posted a been for a uh, run by the look of it. Um, this was where they ran, and that's been posted to uh, the news feed. Um, Google Fit, Apple Health, um, another Strava one here. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's given you a really quick overview of what an all-for-one mission type is. Um, or oh, actually, before I go, we'll probably just show you the leaderboard as well. So if we go to the leaderboard tab, <clears throat> what we see here is um, that currently the leaderboard is set to show uh, everyone um, in terms of if, if this is the first person um, or the person who's contributed the most to the uh, to the mission. Um, and uh, you know we can uh, change this from weekly to monthly or all-time leaderboard views as well. Um, can also filter this leaderboard by activity types. So for example, a someone who's just walking um, might not be interested in comparing themselves against someone who's running or cycling. So they could set a, uh, a walking uh, filter, which would filter out everyone's distances apart from their walking distances. Um, that makes it a little bit more engaging for kind of all people rather than just the people who are racking up the most, uh, the most distance. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea um, as to what an all for one mission uh, type is, um, as opposed to a each to complete mission type. Thank you.